his education. I'm a medical student coming from Slovakia. I am representing the International Federation of Medical Students Associations. And we are here today to challenge medical schools to change the global health workforce. Although I'm standing here on my own, I am not alone. The International Federation of Medical Students Associations has its national member organizations in 125 countries all around the world. In addition, our Standing Committee on Medical Education has passionate and active members in more than 100 countries spanning all the regions. IFMSA is increasingly active in trying to shape the face of the health reality as we know it today. Starting from local classrooms and medical universities up to the contemporary global health challenges in the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. IFMSA students are there and we have a lot of problems on the global level. In September 2016, the final report of the United Nations High Level Commission on Health, Employment and Economic Growth projected a global shortage of 18 million health workers by 2030, primarily in low and lower middle income countries. That's quite a lot, isn't it? With the growing shortage, widening gap and no action to prevent it, health systems and health workers of tomorrow will be unable to meet the needs of a growing population, longer lifespans, and increasing burden of disease. It is more than crucial to implement correct strategies and policies on a national and international level to prevent this from happening. Thanks to this report, we already know that without adequate numbers of health workers, with the right sense of skills, and in the places they are needed, neither the universal health coverage nor the Sustainable Development Goals can be reached, and the whole concept of help for all can be, can be doomed, perhaps forever. So what do we do? What can we do from the medical education standpoint? In case you want to develop anything, you will need to invest a sufficient amount of time, energy, and resources into your project. Resources naturally include financial resources. So let's ask a question. How much do we annually invest into education for our health professionals? Well, in 2010, the Lancet or Frank Chen Commission found that the overall global expenditures for the education of health professionals is roughly around 100 billion of US dollars. However, this amount accounts for less than 2% of overall health expenditures worldwide. You can make your own opinion about that. The investment in the health sector and education cannot alone suffice to unlock social economic growth. The whole concept of policies, frameworks, incentives, collaborations between different actors is required to support the investment. And medical schools and medical education definitely have an important role in this process. So, with such a complex problem and even more complicated solutions, the most important questions arise. How do we make sure that every sector contributes its bit towards this journey to sustainable health workforce? And how do we bring up the solutions medical schools and medical education sector can provide? And how do we connect all these dots together? Well, one thing is quite sure. There is no sustainable health workforce without active participation of medical education and medical schools. There is no health without the health workforce. And there is no health workforce without educational institutions. The analogy is quite clear, and it leads us to take a peek behind the curtain towards possible solutions. So, at the beginning we mentioned that we are going to be doing some challenging today. IFMSA medical students got together and they compiled their own policy document on global health workforce. When they compiled all the calls towards the relevant stakeholders to, in order to come up with solutions that can make a lasting change. We also called medical students to do certain steps. Let's challenge medical schools. Step number one, medical schools need to provide transformative medical education to be able to support the scaling up of health workforce with workers, which must be community, competent, competency, and interprofessional team-based and relevant to their populations. Medical schools also need to adjust their own institutional setup to be able to promptly react to the needs of transformative medical education. Step number two, 
Medical schools need to develop standards and promote the implementation of accreditation systems, according to the World Health Organization and World Federation for Medical Education guidelines. Medical students need to receive quality education they deserve, and medical schools need to be accountable and responsible for the content they promote. Step number three, all the students, regardless of their socioeconomic status, gender, or religion, must have fair access to healthcare opportunity careers. In addition, medical schools need to provide training and education opportunities for students from remote and rural locations. Moving on to the step number four, we need to build a strong medical curriculum, which includes topics on health inequities and social determinants of health, but this curriculum also needs to uh, include sufficient amount of knowledge about countries and students' communities and their very special health challenges and problems. Last but not least, step number five. Medical schools need to start providing distance learning opportunities as an alternative to education and training abroad. They also need to evaluate and research the usage of new technologies in order to be able to adequately support education, training, and management of health professionals. So great, we have some steps for medical schools. But what is the role of medical students? What is our role? Medical students need to be meaningfully involved throughout all the steps in this process. They can hold medical schools accountable for their actions, but they can also hold themselves accountable for their very important role in creation, implementation, and evaluation of these actions. As IFMSC medical students, we pledge to be at your service, but we also want to propose a small narrative, small change to the narrative we used at the beginning. Instead of having medical students versus medical schools, we want to do it with medical schools. And instead of having a challenge, we want to have shared, joint journey. In the end, medical schools and medical students are two sides of the same coin. Medical schools produce something which medical students consume, but in order to achieve our ultimate goal to develop a health workforce which will be able to match the needs of our populations and unlock their full potential, we need to work hand by hand to achieve the dreams of the communities we aim to serve. Thank you very much.